All right, if anybody's wondering, it's cold as crap in Tennessee right now. Talked to a guy from Indiana last night, though. It got down to 11 there last night, so thank goodness we ain't there. You think about that, you start feeling a little bit better because it didn't get down to like 33 here. But right now, I think it's about, I mean, it got down to like 32 here. Right now, I think it's about 33, 34. Better go fishing for a little while. Hopefully, we catch some. I'm going to stop by Fishtails, get me a little bait that I have never thrown before, but I think it'll work. Then we're going to head to the south end of the lake, try to see what we can do down there. So that's the plan for right now. Stay tuned. Hopefully we catch us a big one today. When your tiger shop looks like that, you know they got a lot of good stuff in there. So they have almost everything you need in here, but it's a little bit too high. So I only buy stuff whenever I absolutely need it. But I bet Hunter wishes I would forget all about this place. So this is what 32 degree weather looks like for me. A uh, little boy from the south. The bad news is the carpet and everything on here is wet. Now, I hate when the boat carpet is wet. It just that's the main reason I like to cover the boat in the rain because I just hate when the boat carpet gets wet. But yesterday morning it rained for a while before I had to cover on it, so that got wet. But we're gonna deal with it today. Got me a new bait I've never thrown before. I think we're gonna catch some on it today. We're gonna check the, the water temp. Hopefully it's still 52, 53, 54. And if it is, they're gonna be up there where I want them. It seems like to me, I don't, I'm not a big believer in water temps too much. There are seems to be a pivot point though at, when the weather's 52. And that might just be weird in my personal experiences, but it seems like at 52, the fish really turn on and start to eat differently than they do at, even at 51. It's weird, but that just seems like a pivot point. And then after that, to me, it just seems like they kind of eat the same all the way up. But I mean, 52 for some reason just seems like a pivot point. So hopefully it'll be there today and we'll catch us some. Very, very few things in life that I love more than catching one flipping in shallow wood. That hook is not even hardly in it. Pretty one. Nice one anyways, but there's very few things I love more than catching them just like this. Man, I love it. Just whenever you flip in there and it goes, dunk, that's like the best feeling in the world. Pretty fish too. Check out Mr. Beaver. I can't believe what he's doing up there. Usually, them suckers run. I don't know. He may be sick or something. Been out here fishing for a while now. We've actually done caught uh, quite a few. I'm gonna make a cranking video. Okay, my bait's not in the way. I can't, I'm gonna make a secret cranking video. And then we're gonna make a video of me catching them on other things too, so. I can't leave a little beaver just up there on the bank. Usually they see you coming, boy. They slap their tail and hit, hit the water and gone. I don't even see his beaver down around here nowhere, so I don't know what he's doing, but. Oh well, just thought it was pretty cool to see a beaver like that. Yeah, you can see right there, there's definitely something wrong with him. I see raccoons doing that a lot, and they get something where they go blind, some kind of disease where they go blind, and they just walk real close to the water like that. But I've never seen a beaver doing it. I've seen a lot of raccoons do it, but you can see the way his head is. He's like completely unalert. He is, there's definitely something wrong with that beaver. He's sick or something. Don't know what the issue is, but... Yeah, he's definitely sick. That's sad, but oh well. Now look at that. All of a sudden he just got some pep in his step and came all out here right at the boat. Maybe he will be okay. Maybe he's a pet or something. I don't know. I thought he was gonna come get in the daggum boat with me, so I grabbed my phone real fast. Mm. Okay, so I think I figured out what I was doing wrong with the old chatterbait for so long. Cause look at how that one got an eight. He got an eight right. So here's the problem. I've been getting a lot of bites fishing it very, very slow. And by fishing it very, very slow, I'm pretty much letting it bounce off the bottom. It's literally bouncing on rocks and stuff on one of those docks. It's dunk, 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 dunk. And what happens is those fish actually try to pin it against the bottom. And whenever that happens, they don't really get it good. So I decided today to try to, to pick it up in the water column a little bit, you know, just get it like this far off the bottom instead of letting it bounce on bottom. And I'm, I'm gonna 
figure, and also I'm using a black and blue, but I don't think that's the difference because I was catching some last week with black and blue and I was hooking them in the like outside the mouth in the same way it was on the white one. So I think the problem was I had it too low in the water column and they were trying to pin it up against the bottom. So now we're trying to prevent that today. So we're gonna pick it up a little. Bit. in the water column and they eat it like that so I guess it could be the color but I was trying this same color last week and didn't have that result I'm keeping it high and they're not trapping on the bottom and they're eating it good so I guess that's the difference nice little large mouth freaking $18 chatterbait broke off from freaking brand new it ain't really brand new it's old but it's not hardly used line golly so stupid I shouldn't set the hook that hard I guess but man so freaking annoying hey man it was in a spot where a big it should have been anyway I set the hook it just God. I don't know where the line went the fish must have just freaking took off I know you can probably tell by the video, or you probably can't tell by this video, but they are biting today big time. So I also made a cranking video today at the same time, and we caught a bunch on a crankbait. But I had that first bite was misleading of me flipping, so I want to catch me a couple more flipping. So that bite misled me a little, but I'd like to crack me just two or three more flipping, put that in this video, be set. So that's the goal for right now, catch a couple flipping. I just I couldn't get my hands in his mouth, you know. I mean, it was only a half, it was only a half a second. I touched him, but he was already pretty much unhooked. I got a big, golly! I got a giant, I think. This is a catfish. That's a 6-11. Mm. Almost a 7 pounder there. That gun big. Woo-hoo! 
smoked that thing, man. Dang, I saw him come and eat it. I thought, I didn't know for sure if it was a bass or not, but dang. pulled that one all the way up to the surface where I could see him all I mean it was a two pounder but I put him almost out of the freaking water on his hook set and didn't get the hook in him I've never heard of a 250 freezing but I've heard of smaller engines you leave water in the foot of them and it gets really cold it'll actually freeze and bust the foot it's getting down to 19 tonight so I'm just gonna make sure I got all the water out of this foot. But we had a good day today. Caught a bunch of fish. I don't even know exactly how many I caught, but it was a daggum lot. Had a good day, had a real good day. Unfortunately, I couldn't catch any more flipping. I think I only caught one, maybe two flipping. But that's how it goes sometimes. When the water temp gets up to like 56, 57, I know they're gonna flood that wood. They're gonna get in that wood hard and I'll be able to catch them how, flipping how I wanna catch them. But until then, We'll just keep cranking them up. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? But as always, you like that video, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Hit that sub button. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate you guys following along. And I will see y'all next time.